Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Tin Can, which is a new game. It's on Steam and full disclosure, I did receive my copy for free. It is in early access. You can see here, it's uh, not even, it's, that's an alpha code there. Um, normal, better start somewhere, right? Discover the joy of cosmic dust and learn how to fix your pod in dire situations. Sure. Let's get into it. Time to play some Tin Can. Boom, 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 boom. I'm excited. I'm really excited, actually. I quite like space games and, uh, you know, being part of an escape pod or whatever and having to repair the pod and stuff. Oh, okay. Here we go. Control couch. Press any key to continue. Right. So what's going on? Oh, we got a, we got a technical manual. Right? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's lots of Ericos. Oh god. How do I brace for impact? Um. Oh, we're going through a meteor, uh, an asteroid belt, not a meteor. We're getting hit from the asteroids, right? Alright. Oop. Oop. Oh god. Wow, that really uh messed me up. Okay, I didn't like uh didn't like that. All right. On off button. What are we what are we up to? So some other buttons, master caution, master warning. Oh god. <clears throat> okay, this is all how do we sit down? I want to like, I want to strap in. How do we? Recycling station, battery fast charger. Oh, we can, we can go outside, I guess. Okay. That is less than ideal. Oh God. There we go. We're gra we're grabbed on. Good. We are holding on for dear life. All right, we. What is going on, man? We're gonna we're gonna die. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like dying in space. I do like this game though. So far, so far, I'm totally on board. Looks like it might be thinning. The. Uh, the real asteroid belts are very sparse, very dispersed. Uh, you'd be very lucky to hit something. Or unlucky, I guess. Alright, can we let go of the... Secondary service panel. Alright. So what are we... What are we doing? Nothing seems to be damaged, so that's good. There's emergency lights, there's main lights, I'm just looking at... Oh, there we go. All right, so we're out. Okay, here we go. Atomic pile temp. Ooh, O2. It's a 20 CO2, 1%. Nitrogen, that's good. Pressure's good. Pod temp is good. Okay. Um, oh, power transformer. All right. We'll just check some other stuff. What is this thing? This is emergency lights, right. And then we've got repair station. Yep, we don't need to re we don't need to repair anything. Do not open while in operation. Okay. Well, we'll close it. All right, so we're in this thing. We got this cool music going. All the all signs are pointing towards we're fairly safe. Looks like this pod fits two people. All right, let's get back to looking at the pod te technical manual. The control panel, here we go. Oh. All right, contr the control panel, where was that? I did find that, there we go. Can function even with total lack of power from the main generator and is damage proof, great. Atomic pile temperature. Uh, all right, the red needle matches the current atomic pile temperature. The ideal temperature, right. The ammeter, where's that? Oh, there it is. 
Um, see how much power is being required to all current active systems compared to how much is produced by the main generator. Right, the red needle is... Okay, yep. Both need to be aligned for ideal power. And they are. All right. Pod atmosphere temperature. Got that. Um, okay, so breathability levels. So... Oh. What are we... Uh-oh. Uh All right, let's put this down again. Let's put it down and grab. All right. Going through some more. Jeez. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, something's something's broken. Where is it? Uh, what what is going on? Oh my God. Okay. Nope. Oh god. Uh Oh god. I don't know I don't know what to do. There's no tutorial. There's just that book. Oh god, breathability's going down, life support's failing. There we go. Come on. Uh, pressure generator, uh, reset, dirty filter, what? Um, okay. How do I, what do I do with this? How do I, I don't know how to fix it. Oh no! Is this what I'm supposed to do? No, I don't, I don't know. Oh my god. I don't, I don't know what to do here. So what's, what is this? Oh my god, this is the gravity generator? Oh my goodness. Um, this is the main generator. We're just dying of being out of breath, I guess. Um... Uh, there we go. Uh, sure. Alright. Uh, let's try and... Oh my god. Oh my god. That is bad. Okay. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Can I fix this? Oh, there we go. Start. Oh, F. Start. So is it, is it repairing it? I, I don't... I don't know. Alright, reset. Oh my god, this is really confusing. Low pump, damaged battery. Oh my god. Well, we're just gonna die, aren't we? What's damaged? What does it say? What does it say? Well, at least I'll die doing what I loved. Not knowing what I'm doing. Um, uh, yeah. No repair needed. Right. Okay. Damaged uh, battery. Battery. Oops. Oh my god. Well, start. Start it. I'm trying to repair it. Press F to repair. I'm repairing. What? Retired parts 26. I don't I don't know what that is. Oh, is this Oh my god. Stop that. Oh my god. Well, this is all going really poorly, guys. Alright, where's my technical ma manual? Oh my god. 
Well, at least I, uh... Oh my god. Okay, uh, this is not working. I'm just dying here. My breathability is down to almost nothing. Pressure's going down. I've got alarms. And I've got... Okay, so I've turned off the alarms. Great. So, carbon dioxide scrubber is not working. No, no, it's the pressure generator. Dirty filter, damaged battery. All right. All right. Okay, I do not know. All right. Okay, what parts do I need? Close the door, sure. Okay, so I do not know what, I don't know how to get parts. Um, I guess I'm just gonna die of not having enough oxygen or whatever. Um, the game definitely doesn't give you enough time to look at the, uh, to look at the manual. Um, I guess let's, let's just go outside. What was it? Use mouse wheel. <laughs> there we go. I want to go into space. Oh, it won't let me into space. <laughs> right, so... Okay. There we go. So what is... I don't know what this is. Bad fuse, low pump, full can, low bar, low bar atmo. Uh, full can. Alright, well. I don't know where to get parts from. Oh, well, at least I'm dying, though. So I've stopped being able to hear myself, so I must be pretty close to on my way out. No repair, no repair needed. I survived 11 minutes! Cool. So, one of the problems that I'm having is that I was in the middle of reading the thing, <laughs> right? In the middle of reading the, uh, the instruction manual, and then you die. Um, so, I guess it's one of those games where you have to, like, keep trying. So, I guess we'll try one more time, but I feel like a lot of my time in the next go-through is going to be spent just reading the instruction manual because i had only gotten to like figuring out what was there yeah i i don't know man like i feel like i feel like it would be better if the game had a little bit more of a of a lead up to the the ship getting damaged um you know like make it so that it's possible for me to potentially read the instruction manual and then survive i don't i don't know man i I get, I get what they're going for. They're definitely going for the difficulty. And it's like, hey, you actually need to get to know how to work this, uh, this tin can um, if you're going to survive. Because otherwise you're just going to die. And that's great. Um, but I don't... There... I didn't... I wasn't able to do any of the repairs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was a thing saying that that was broken. And I put it into the thing to repair. And it said it needed 26 and I don't, I don't know if that's in the instruction manual or whatever. I don't know. Um, but I feel like, I feel like even in a game where it's supposed to be difficult, there could be more of an onboarding to it. Just a little bit more of an onboard, onboarding to it. You know, like explaining how the repair thing works would be a really good place to start. And yeah, then we can explore and find out what all the different things are, all the different pieces of the uh the puzzle are um but like i you know i don't know what i'm doing so i mean i'll do it again and uh i'll i'll read the book and i'll see if i can figure out what 26 means um or 15 because those, those were the things that i got right so let's look in here right so we got the values panel no systems list great uh all that stuff cool so we've got all these different error codes. Great. Yeah. No, I'm not going to brace for impact. I don't care. Um, 
The oxygen generator, great. Uh, sure. Light systems, temperature manager, main computer, airlock. You are docked properly, then pull the turn. Once unlocked, you can simply pull the door inward inside the pod. Right, that's what I had. I had hypoxia. Right. Of damaged components. When possible, it also allows you to dis dismantle a component for spare parts by placing one inside and pressing the dismantle button. Must be in working order. Have enough power and users must have enough spare parts. Um, so how would I... How would I get spare parts, I guess? Because I, I, I don't know. The more button is damaged, the more it will tend to fail when pressed. Right? Buzzer, alarm button. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out here. Damaged pump, damaged air filter, great. I, I don't know how many pages there are, but uh, we're going. Sure. Bottles, yeah. Atomic pile. Do not assemble uh, the pile sheets without proper equipment. Right. Diagnostic manual. Uh, sure. <clears throat> uh, low bar, high bar. Man, there's a lot of stuff. Low bad, bad power trans, bad data, bad fuse, bad monitor. Right, so we've made it through the whole thing. So I guess the point is we're supposed to have that with us when we're, like, trying to fix stuff. So that's the battery fast charger. I don't know how that works, but we can, I guess we can disassemble stuff is part of the point. Right, we got our life support systems, great. Got this thing, sure. We can disable the main lights, sure. So we can just take some of this stuff apart. Uh huh. What are the emergency lights? Right. I don't know, man. Oh, what do we got going on in here? We got a fuse. We got a power connector. We've got a spare battery. We got a power transformer. Look at all those spare parts, guys. Look at that. All right. So there are spare parts to be had. I guess you just take it out of the stuff that's already there. CO2 to O2 recycling station. Sure. Battery fast charger. Yeah. Storage bees. There's no nothing in the storage. I guess. I guess that makes a kind of sense. So you can you can take these as well. So if you don't want to listen to the uh, the alarms, you can take the alarms and turn them into spare parts. So that's always good. Um, yeah. So we can turn that off if we want or turn it on. Great. Oh, power components. What is that? Full to open, right? Logic components. All oh, right, so that's keeping the the computer systems running. We've got some seats. What is this? We've got the gravity generator. Um, yeah, I mean, so I guess the point is to pull some stuff apart. So let's, I don't know, let's just pull something apart, I guess. Let's, uh, let's pull that apart and let's put it inside here. There we go, and we'll go dismantle. So what? So is it dismantled or? I don't. I don't get it. So what? Did, what did we do? Did we? So does it work? I do not know. No one knows if that worked or not. See, I don't I don't even know if that worked. I cuz it didn't disappear. I clicked dismantle and nothing happened. So I don't know, man. Like the game needs a better onboarding system. So, let's go look at the description because um, I'm just going to die of epoxy again, which is fine. Um, like I said, I do like I do like the game. It's very 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 cool. Um, but I would really love for there just to be a little bit more stuff. So, is it the same damage every time? Yeah, it is. So the first thing you have to do is fix the oxygen generator. <laughs> that way we don't have to worry about it, right? We just turn it off. We don't have to listen to the warning anymore. 
Yeah, low pump. Uh, low empty bottle, low oxy production. Right. So there should be, uh, we can probably fix that one. Alright. And we'll get that. There we go. Oops. There we go. What else is, what else is wrong? Pod too low oxy. Shut up. I, I don't know what that means. What was pod too low oxy? I don't know. Um, low oxy production. Pod too low. Oh, we had it. Um, oxygen levels are too low. Okay. There's an air leak in the pod. The atmospheric pressure is too low. So we've got a problem with the atmospheric pressure. Dirty filter. Right. Except for I don't know how to fix that. Oh, it says F to clean. Did I, did I fix it? Did it work? Be quiet. I fixed you. Hey, I fixed some stuff. Excellent. I fixed some things. The, the, the problem with the uh, cleaning the air filter is it doesn't really give you any feedback that you've done that. So, at least we fixed the one thing. Um, let's go look at the breathability. We're still... We're still doing pretty good. Yeah, we're fine. We are surviving. I guess you can't pre-fix stuff until it breaks, right? Maybe maybe we will play this we'll play this one last round. I was going to go look at the description, but we'll play one last round. And then we'll, and then we'll go look because I you know, I want to see if I can fix something else. Um yeah. Yeah, I think a little bit of a vi some visual feedback to show that you were cleaning the air fil filter um or anything, you know what I mean? Just to give you an idea that you're doing stuff because at the moment there's just nothing. Presumably at some point you have to do clever stuff like take apart the light switches to fix the power generators or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. So I guess you can grab onto stuff and then climb. Yeah, I see. That's pretty cool. That's neat. Unlock and pull. Right, we're in our tin can and we're flying. We just got to keep surviving. Seems like we're not in too much danger. Yeah, we got a good temperature in here. Change the channel. If only we could get some good TV up in here, you know? That is a lot of asteroids. That's a lot of debris. Are we going through, like, the debris of a planet that just exploded and we are, like, in the only life pad? Life pad. Life pod. <laughs> right. I guess we're through. Oh, no. There's more. There's more out this side. Sweet. We're done. We solved the first crisis. I think... I think that we... We didn't manage to solve the second, the first crisis at all last time, and then the second crisis happened. So, I guess the stars wouldn't be moving. But I mean, it'd be weird that we, if we're getting hit with stuff, that there's no rotation. I feel like that's weird. There should be like rotation on the air, on the on the pod. The fact that we seem to be static, we're stuck in a spot. When we've been getting obviously struck with asteroids and stuff doesn't really sync up, but that's fine. Something to work on. It's a work in progress. So I've, I've given some tips and stuff. I think there should be a little bit more of an onboarding thing. Maybe give us a uh, give us a cutscene that shows us exploding and escaping from a thing, or do a little tutorial um, on the ship. How cool would that be? A little tutorial on the ship where someone's like. Oh, hey, you know, welcome. I'm just showing you the emergency procedures in case uh, something happens to the ship. This is the life pod. There's an instruction manual in there. Um, you'll need to be able to repair stuff and all that. But uh, you probably won't need that. We're, um, we've been flying for 15 years and uh, we haven't had a problem yet. Uh, and then, you know, they're like, so next I'll take you to the, uh, the, the mess hall and show you. 
and then like that character can die like a nasty death um as the ship explodes they and then like you run to the life pod that would be amazing i would love that and then we're like stuck in this tin can and then it's sort of like there's a little bit more at stake because at the moment it's just like we're here yeah we're in we're basically in an escape room that we can't escape from and that's fine but it would be good to uh you know have a little bit of a, oh why is the breathability going down what the hell what is the what is the dilio? Oh, why is that not beeping? Low pump, bad buzz. Oh! Dang, man. That's bad. That's really bad. Bad buzz. So the, uh, the thing broke. That's really bad. So my breathability was going down and I was going to die without knowing it. Because I hadn't, I hadn't checked in on the stuff. Uh, dirty filter. Low pump. Where's the pump? Um, pump. Oops. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Alright. Um, I need another... I need another thingy. Bad buzz is really annoying. All right, let's go here. Um, thank you. We'll put that back. Um, where, where else are we going to get some switches from? Uh, no, where'd it go? Where are we at? All right, we got this. Oh, we've already dismantled it. That's the one we that's the one we already did. Oh, where did I just get that from? The lights. Oh yeah. We can do this. Dismantle this bad boy. Oops. That's bad. Okay. Emergency lights do not need a light switch. Where are we? Oh, where'd my part go? Repair in progress. Come on. Ice. Be be beware of cold atomic pile. How do I fix that? Oh my god. Come on, man. All right. Well, if the bad buzz thing, man. That's just. Ah, uh, that's. That's enough. That's icing on the cake. Come on. Am I going to die? Give me the carbons. Give me the pump. Oh, my God. And we're freezing over. There we go. Is it working? On battery. Oops. How do we fix it? How do we... How do we... How do we make this happen? High capacity fuse. I don't... I don't actually know... I don't actually know how to fix this. Oops. Nope. All right. Come on. Uh, we're on battery. All right. Nope. All right. Well, we're just going to die, I guess. Oh, we made it further than we did last time. What's going on here? On battery. Right. We're getting better. We are on the uh, we are on the battery though. Oops. How's the battery looking though? It's still got problems. All right, are we are we dying? How's our breathability looking? Artificial gravity offline. All that's offline. How's our breathability? Our breathability is bad, but I think it's getting better. 
I actually don't know. Looks like it's getting better. Yeah, it is getting better. All right. So we're, what's our what's our internal temperature? So we're still we've got a bad atomic pile. Great. That's fun. I don't know how to fix that. Okay. Stop. Stop the main lights. They have no emergency lights, so we're just on battery here. All right. But our breathability is going up, which is good. So what's this? Atomic. So blue is what we need, and red's what we're making, which is none. All right. How long are we going to be freezing for? That's the question. Um, what happens uh, on battery, right? Error codes. Too high power sys, sys low power. No, that's not, that's not what we need. We need to find out. No. We just need it to not be cold. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Um, produces heat and that is then transformed into energy. The higher the temperature, the more energy is produced. Uh, with a, right. So we can't do anything about the cold. We just have to try and survive it. Well, our breathability is going up, but we are on battery. We just got to make sure that we are ready to rock with the uh, with the battery charging. On, oh, where's that coming from? On battery, low pump, low oxy production, empty bottle, right? Oh my god, what is going on? I can't move. Oh my god, because we have no gravity generation. Oh my goodness. That is bad. Alright. I want to be able to push off, but I can't. Okay. How do I go back the other way? Alright. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming, guys. I would love for it to not be so freaking cold in here. Okay, on battery, low pump. There we go. Be quiet. Dirty filter. I can I can do that. I can clean that. Thank you. Hey, we got power back, I think. I think that means power is back. Stop it. Okay, on battery. We're just we're just still warming up. Alright, so let's go through and check our other systems. Alright, so that's still going. That's good. All right, we can recharge batteries. That's still that's still on battery. We need to get our power back, and then we need to recharge those batteries. We made it way further this time because we managed to fix some stuff, which is good. Is that does that button work or? It doesn't work because we dismantled it. <laughs> that's fun. Right. I see. That's fun. Alright, so emergency lights. Uh, can we repair the light switch? Um, where is it? There it is. I feel like we can't. Yeah, we don't have enough, so... That just gets to stay broken, I guess. So, it's a game of just trading stuff, right? That's the idea. Oh, where are the light switches? I just, I've totally lost them now. Oh, there we go. But what we do want to do is, now that these are not on... Bad buzz, right. Let's see if we can repair that. Nope. Bad... Is it that one? Nope. Is this one that is the bad buzz, right? Oh my god. How do we get up there? 
Okay, bad buzz. Dun -dun. Air filter, CRT monitor, power transformer. That all seems to be working fine. All right. Well, let's. Oh my God, we have to. We have to do this again. We have to climb up. Uh, that is not what I wanted. Oh, here we go. Well, let's put it back. I don't. I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to do this. Is the question. Oh, there we go. All right. Um, fast charger. Oops, we lost our power again. Why did we lose our power again? Why? What happened? We were doing so well. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oops, I knocked that around the room. Oops, what the hell? What is going on here? Why can I not put this in? Oh, that's a CO2 bottle. What the hell? Oh, I see. There we go. And where's my where's my battery? All right, let's get that back into place. I can't I can't see it. Oh my god. See, this is really annoying. All right, is it there? Is it in there? Okay, full can. Oh my god. Alright, we're trying. We're trying, guys. We're trying. Oh my god. Low pump, low oxy production. Shh, be quiet! Where else are we getting buzzes from? Okay, I don't I don't know what the problem is. Come on down, tell me what's going on. Error list. Bad. Okay, I don't Uh Oh jeez. Okay, well, we're doing really well, but the video is going a bit long now, so I've started to figure out how to play on my second go. Um, it is more fun than it was. Um, let's go look at the description. All right, Tin Can, you've barely managed to flee your exploding spaceship. Now in an old escape pod, you find yourself in the shoes of a technician without any knowledge of the complex systems around you that are keeping you alive. Faced with all kind of cosmic dangers, how long will you survive? Developed by Tin Can Studio, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a stab in the dark and say this is their first game. Um, it's an early access. It does have a lot of work that can be done on it. Like I said, some feedback for when, uh, some like visual feedback for when you're actually like cleaning the air filters and stuff would be really cool. Um, I don't know how easy it is to code in uh, like a hand grabbing the thing and maybe like scrubbing it or I don't know, whatever it is. Um, but just some sort of visual indication that I've done something because I was just like, I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I eventually figured it out. I do like the little instruction manual. kind of reminds me of keep talking and no one explodes. Um, and yeah, a little bit more story to get us involved would be amazing. Like I said, like a little tutorial section before we blast off. Like if we're a technician, right? You just, you just said in your description, we're a technician. Why do we not know anything about the complex systems? Yeah. If we're a new technician, great and if you did that in the if you did that in like a little cutscene or even in a little gameplay part where um someone was like oh this is the life you know these are life pods um in the event that there's a catastrophic failure on the ship um you'll evacuate to one of these there's an instruction manual inside of course um you can flick through that later 
Uh, the main thing that you need to know is uh, that everything in the ship is uh, able to be dismantled and uh, turned into other stuff. So, you know, in, in case the worst can, uh, should happen, uh, use the little repair thing there, dismantle some stuff, uh, and then uh, you should be able to use that to repair the other stuff. So. Yeah, but we'll go over that more later in the official session, but this is an unofficial one, and then BOOM! The ship is rocking and shaking, and he's like, oh my god, quick, get to the escape pod! BOOM! And then the guy gets hit with a pipe or something, and a meteor comes through, and then you um, fall into the escape pod, and the door shuts, and you go... And you uh, get away, you know, you jump off, and you're gone! And suddenly you're in the tin can, and you're having to survive. That would be amazing! You know what I mean? Like, just give me a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit a little bit more investment, a little bit more stakes in the game. Um, so, this early access version will be available before the final build six months later. So, six months in early access. Cool. Um, let's see. There are four types of events in the early access, from asteroid fields to the terrible electric nebula. Allows you to buy the game at a reduced price related to the amount of final functionalities that you will find in it. Alright, so it currently costs $14.79. That's probably fair. Do you know what I mean? That's probably fair. Um, and hailing all frequencies. Beware of space travelers surviving aboard the tin can is no trivial matter. Without a good look at the pod manual and patience, the only thing awaiting you is a cold or hot cosmic death. Consider yourselves warned. Good luck. In space, tech support can't hear you scream. Great. Um... I hope it's just the fuse cutting down the power and not some kind of issue with the atomic pile. Yeah, I was having issues with my atomic pile. It was bad. These incomprehensible error codes again. Where is this damn manual? This pod is a mess. Ah, here it is. Excellent. Right, strong points. Strong points! A micromanagement of systems down to every single component. A dozen of systems all having their own specific function to ensure, to ensure your survival. Someone really needs to go over this with a, uh, with a, you know... I have an English degree comb, which I do, and I'm very happy to help out because uh, the game is very cool and, you know, giving your Steam store page a once over and uh, helping you um, make the description solid, you know, the language solid so that people aren't put off, um, I'm very happy to do that, so let me know. Um, organic failures, thanks to the simulated nature of resources and components inside the game, you'll have to figure out what is wrong and retrace failures back to the source. Dismantle, swap, and fix anything inside the pod. A realistic management of vital resources such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, or even temperature and radiations. Here, no incoherent... Here, no incoherent percentage. See, that doesn't make any sense. Um, that is incoherent. That sentence makes no, ma no sense at all. It is incoherent. Uh, required levels of these resources for, su for survival are based on real life. And the comma use is just atrocious. Like right here in that opening description thing is um, just bad. Now in an old school escape pod, find comma there, you find yourself in the shoes of a technician without any knowledge of the complex systems around you that are keeping you alive. So there's like three unnecessary commas in that sentence. Faced with all kinds of comics, cosmic dangers, how long will you survive? Yeah, so lots of bad comma use and some really awkward language and some, yeah, just incoherent stuff. So I'm very happy to give you a hand there. Um, and if there's anything in the game as well that you want me to have a look at, I'm happy to do that too. Uh, cosmic events will strike your pod. Let's have a look. So mostly people like it. Everybody likes it. Good, brutal survival puzzle. Excellent indie space sim. Uh, played through this a few times and I, and I seem to be... I seem to be have top faced different situations in each time. I will say that I can be a tense experience when you have alarms sounding all around you and you can't see as your lights no longer work. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool, man. The game is really cool. I like it a lot. Um, and it is an early access, so there's time to fix the problems. Let's look at Tin Can Studio and exactly as predicted. First game, only game, um, because why would they be called Tin Can Studio if their first game wasn't called Tin Can? I know that that's not necessarily the case you know like uh it's not it's almost often it's almost always never the case but you know if you're gonna call your game tin can and then you're gonna be called tin can studio probably it's your only game so um i'm gonna leave it there thanks for watching like and subscribe if you want to check out the game tin can it's on steam you can click on the link in the description and check it out and uh yeah 
Leave me a comment down below, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.